Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. This may take two posts and I'm sorry. So I commented on uh, one of my neighbors here in Northwest Arkansas on the, her TikTok and, uh, and her name is irrelevant. She, she took her post down most likely because other people were seemed to be getting upset. Um, so, however, it was kind of a question on disaster. There were some uh, 13 and a half fish hours ago here in Northwest Arkansas, we had a tornado come through and it did some damage, which I'm going to tell you about here in a minute, to Springdale, Arkansas. Um, and so I'm going to read you, first off, I'm in emergency services, emergency services, which is fire, police, EMS, search and rescue teams, uh, the 911, that's us. So um, that's called public sector emergency services. So this morning, as that storm came through, actually before it, we started preparing, we knew bad weather was coming. And this isn't just my agency, this is all of them that, that are infected by a storm. And so everyone was kind of gearing up and they were kind of ready and, and then the storm hit and started doing damage and it caused injuries. So far, uh, I believe the count, and I could be wrong, I believe the count is seven, two are critical. Um, one I'm sure is on his way to central Arkansas to, to a trauma center. And I'm terrible, I, I'll be praying for them. Um, so the question was, why are these disaster response vehicles, a church-based disaster response vehicles, why are they just sitting in a parking lot across town? The short answer is those vehicles are stored at that church until they are called upon to need whatever particular service those vehicles ought need. Uh, I know those vehicles. Two of them are involved in mass feeding, feeding large volumes of people, uh, hurricane, towns wiped out type feeding. Uh, the other one I didn't know, I would imagine it's a chainsaw response team or a damage assessment team. So, but I, I don't know that exact vehicle, but that's the type of services that that team does. They provide uh, some sh shelter feeding, a little bit of that, but mostly it's like a food truck that affected towns can come get food. So we are, uh, I'm going to read you the response on what's going on right now in part two. So part two from our our tornado here in Springdale, Arkansas. So, and I'm reading straight from someone who's in the know. Uh, early response is not emergency response. Those disaster relief teams are early response teams. Emergency response is 911, fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars. Um, so, early response, such as those teams, have to wait until the scene is safe before we can go in. This is usually determined by the local emergency management department. That usually means between 24 and 36 hours after the disaster. Uh, this person shares that they're in the loop and they'll share as little or that I can share as little or as much as I want. Uh, updated info is the public sector incident command was dissolved this morning. That means emergency services, fire trucks and police cars and ambulances. They were done with the immediate needs this morning and went back to normal things. It's been handed over to VODE, Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters. Those vehicles that were sitting there are gonna be part of one of those agencies. Uh, the Red Cross is establishing a, a shelter at Journey Church in WA. This person is headed there now to try to catch the Red Cross coordinator. The latest assessments are 40 to 60 homes have major damage. 100 plus homes have minor damage. Uh, and there's a mobile home neighborhood that's still blocked off. Uh, this And this is all subject because tomorrow the assessments truly start to determine the amount of damage, the amount of resources that are needed. Uh, those agencies, the early response units are the Red Cross Shelter Operations people. They're the United Methodist Church Disaster Relief, the Baptist uh, Emergence or Baptist Disaster Relief. Those groups have to be called for. They're not trained, or do they have the equipment 
uh, necessary and they're all totally volunteer to respond immediately. Those type of volunteers and services are provided by firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, uh, police officers, and, and the like, and search and rescue teams. They're all ready for emergencies. So it takes a couple days to get the wheels rolling to get what needs are really there uh, so that those organizations can get what they need where they need it. And it, and it takes some time. Uh, I'm, I hate that she was frustrated seeing those those trailers sitting in that parking lot. Um, but I'm excited about what those trailers get to do, not only for people's immediate needs, but they also share the gospel, which is part of what she, her concern was. Hope that helps.